Show your hands! Show your hands! Why'd you run? I didn't run. I didn't kill anybody. We're gonna go check this cul-de-sac. It's known for a lot of uh, illegal drug activities and uh, problems that everybody's been having. We wanna see what's going on, see if there's any problems tonight. You all right? No, I, you're just standing out in the middle. I didn't know. Do what? What's your name? Why are you so skinny, man? Why are you so skinny? Joe, what's your date of birth? What's your date of birth, man? It's a World War II hero. Joe, where are you going? Well, actually, you've got three. You'll be right back? Yeah, I got Okay. top secret information. Come here, man. You want to talk? Yeah, I'll talk you... to you. I ain't done nothing wrong. No, you haven't. We're just, I want to make sure. I just kind of wonder what you guys are out in the middle of the street for. All right. So, what's going on? You live here? No, I live right down here. You don't got anything on you, do you? No. No drugs or anything? Have you ever done any drugs? I've done it down oh, 15 times in my life. What kind? Huh? What kind of drugs? Well, I smoke a little marijuana. That's all? Well, uh, you look like you might be a little high or something. No, don't don't reach in. Well, That's all right. Not. Well, I'm not. Can I make sure you don't got anything in your pocket? Turn around right. for me. There you go. Uh -huh. Put your hands behind your back. So what are you doing down here in front of somebody else's house? Because I know John and I don't have no cigarettes down here, and I came up to ask him for a cigarette. Okay, That's fine. I don't lie. I don't have no reason to lie. No problem. I don't do dopes. I don't break the law. If I do, it's for a good reason. What kind of reason would it be for? I don't know. Probably steal somebody's guns and ain't police officers or, or uh. So you steal soldiers. people's guns? Yeah, I've done right. that a lot. Do you have any guns yourself? My father had a machine gun. And I've always drunk my whole life. I ain't never been no dope thing. You know who lives here? John is one of them, but uh, the person who lives here actually. Is John? Uh, is, uh, is John the white guy? He's kind of skinny. Guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's the one who. Uh, well, I just talked to him. Headache for everybody. I let him go around back because I thought he was gonna go inside and grab something, and then he went inside, I guess, and never came he's back. Hiding. Show your hands. Three sixty three said foot chase in the woods. Show your hands. Show your hands. Get up. Don't you move. Hey guys, I got him in the woods here. Stand by, I'm trying to get him in custody. Make sure he jumped out of a second story window. Neighbors would tell me there's a lot of people inside. Okay, well we got several people walking outside now. Three sixty three one's in custody and clear the air. Stand up. Yes, ma'am. I also need another wagon. Stand up. You can wait for the next available. Why were you running? Okay. The other guy told me if I run, he'll get away. If you run, he'll get away? Yeah. Who is that? Great. Do you have your guy in custody? Yeah, we're walking back. Keep an eye on 8715 right there. That uh, duplex, this guy says that. He was supposed to run so someone else could get away. Which, one, which one's good? He's okay. You can let him go. Yeah. Yes. Right now, we got both parties in custody. One that was hiding inside the house because he has warned. For this party right now, we think he's lying about his name, trying to figure that out. Let's get away from him real quick. Well, he better leave me alone. Just relax. Come over here. Yeah, I got one. I told him to send a code. Just right here. What? Okay. Right here. Hey, 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 hey. Sit down. Sit down now. I want to get you away from him. I'll be in there. Sit down. Hey, you know what? Sit down. Why'd you run? What I didn't you... run. Why'd you hide? I didn't hide. What do you got you're scared of? Nothing. A warrant. What kind of warrant? Uh, probation warrant. Uh, because I didn't pay what I was supposed to pay. You're helping yourself. You help us. Yeah. Uh, Is he a relationship to you? I don't even know him. You don't know him? Nope. Okay. Well, he's the one that turned you in, told us he, you were running I don't him. even know who he is. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, hey, listen real quick. You're going to jail for Jackson County warrant, okay? You got about 10 other city warrants, independents, but we're going to take you on the Jackson County. It's a felony. You can bond out down there and take care of them, all right? All the witnesses out here say that you were the one driving, right? No, it wasn't on me. You got out of the car screaming and everything else and then took off running. It was, I was the passenger. Uh, responding to a major traffic accident, a vehicle versus a motorcycle, 
the callers on scene are saying that the motorcycle driver is down and that a Hispanic or white female has run from the scene of the second vehicle that was involved. They load him up. The guy in the, the, right here in the, in the red hat right behind you by that dryer, uh -huh. he got a full description of her. So All right. Hey man, what's the what is what does she look like? She's got a gray T-shirt, okay, and blue jeans, brown hair, Hispanic, up in a tail. white. Do we know? She looked white, but she took off running this way. Okay. So. And we didn't see where she went after she went running. She, she went through there. I was dealing with him. Hey Vaughn, is she in this one? Jessica, oh my car. Please tell me she didn't kill anybody. Uh, no, she didn't. She didn't kill anybody. Okay. Thank you. Hey, who's Jessica? Thank you, God. What's... Jessica was her name. It's a friend that I know of in the bar. She took my car. Okay. You know that all the witnesses out here say that you were the one driving, right? No, it was not me. Okay, I'm saying all the sober witnesses out here are saying that you were the it one was driving. Not me driving. Okay, that's fine. I was not I'm, the one driving. I'm, I'm not saying you are or didn't. I'm telling you that all the witnesses out here say that you got out of the car, ran over to no. a house over here screaming and no. everything else, and then took off running. It was. I was the passenger. Okay, then why did you run from the police? Because I ran, because I was... I didn't know who was in the truck. I didn't know what to do. People don't run when they know what to do. I didn't know what to do. That's not normal. That's not a normal response. I didn't know what to do. I really didn't know what to do. I've never been in that kind of situation. I really have never been in that kind of but situation. But you're not having any problem now that you're sitting here talking to us, I'm telling us who was driving right and what right happened. Now, man. That's what I'm saying, though. I'm scared to death. Have her step out. Hey, hey step out. I'll get out. Step right over here by me, Amy. Stand over here next to this officer. Yes, sir. Right here. Look straight at that light right there. I can't. Okay. You. Okay. The witnesses say that you were the one driving. So you were the passenger in the car. Yes, sir. And Jessica was driving. Where does she live? I'm not quite sure. She's one of my cousin's ex-girlfriends. Okay. And you met her at the bar tonight? Is that what you said? Yeah, I saw her at the bar, yeah. And you saw her at the bar, and then what? And she drove me home. Where's home? My, I live at 3260. Why are you over here at 17th and Western? Because I was driving her home. You were driving her home? Or she was driving herself home. Okay, you need to start being honest. It's well, yeah, fixing that's, them. I mean, I was you just the said it. I was going to say the night. Okay, but you just said I was driving her home. Well, my, okay, my cousin Alex lives with my grandmother. You just now said to me, I was driving her home. You no, just now, okay, that's not what you said, though. That's what I mean. you, Okay, that's not what you said. Lying about what happened running after you nearly kill somebody after no. you're driving? No. That's not, not good, okay? I'm just, no. I'm just letting you know. Not I'm just letting you know. Not okay, I'm just letting you know. That was not All right? me. That was not me. Well, the funny thing about that is she's got an injury to her left arm, upper bicep, and you got this blood over here on this side that extends out here in an area where maybe she had her arm hanging out when she crossed the line. Uh, Amy, listen to me. Here's what's going to happen. Listen to me. I'm listening. Everybody out here, including me, believes you were driving that vehicle. Okay. We're going to take your blood, that's and fine. we're going to test it for the, the amount of alcohol that's in your system, and it's going to show that you're over the legal limit, and you're going to go to jail for it, OK? So that's what's going to happen. All right? I just talked to the uh, officers that are out the hospital with the guy that was on the motorcycle. Uh, they say he's probably going to live, but he's possibly going to lose a leg. Don't drink and drive, but people do it every day, and this is the result of it.